Hi guys, welcome to this 10th tutorial in this series of Programming Arduino for Absolute Beginners. In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to use a relay with Arduino. So, what is a relay? A relay is basically an electrically controlled switch that can be used to control a high power circuit from a low power circuit. Many relays use an electromagnet to mechanically operate a switch, but other operating principles are also used, such as solid state relays. There are many reasons why one can use a relay in a circuit. If you want to control high power devices such as light bulbs or electric motors from an Arduino board, you can use a relay as Arduino on its own cannot handle such high voltage and current. The other reason to use a relay is to isolate a low power circuit from a high power circuit. Relays isolate low power circuit from high power circuit. This is a good feature especially for safety reasons. A section of the circuit with high dangerous voltage or current could be isolated from the user. Relays comes in different types and shapes. Here are some electromagnetic relays and some solid state relays. In a solid state relay, a solid state electronic component provides a function similar to an electromechanical relay but does not have any moving component. A solid state relay uses a thyristor, triac or other solid state switching device activated by the control signal to switch the control load instead of a solenoid. An optocoupler can be used to isolate control and control circuit. This is a symbol of a single pole double throw electromagnetic relay. This relay has five terminals. Two terminals are used to energize the coil of the relay. This is the low power section and can be connected to microcontroller pins. These other three are the controlled switch where we can connect our high power devices. The COM is the common terminal, the NO stands for normally open and the NC for normally closed. When the coil of the relay is not energized, the armature will be connected to the normally connected contact Thus the comms and the normally connected contact will close the circuit and anything connected through this contact will be switched on. But when the coil is energized, it becomes an electromagnet and thus will attract the ion armature. This will open the normally connected contact and close the normally open contact. Anything connected through this normally open contact and comm will be switched on. There are a few parameters to consider when selecting a relay to ensure safety and proper operation. The first parameter is the coil rating. The coil rating is very important. This is the low voltage required to energize the relay. Some relays operate with DC voltage of 5 to 12 volt, drawing current of about 50 milliamp to 100 milliamp. This relay model, Omron G5LE-14, the coil is rated 5 volt DC and from the data sheet we can see the current is 79.4 milliamp and the coil resistance is 63 ohms. The next important parameter is the contact ratings. These are the ratings of the high power terminals of the relay. This relay is rated 10 amp a 250 volt AC for resistive load and 5 amp a 250 volt AC for inductive load. For DC load, the rating a bit lower. From the data sheet, we can see it rated 8 amp a 30 volt DC for resistive load and only 4 amp a 30 volt DC for inductive load. No load with rating exceeding this should be connected to the relay as these are the maximum rating values and it's always good to connect a load with ratings lower than this maximum rating values. The other important parameter to consider when selecting a relay 
is the type of mounting and enclosure depending on your operating environment and the required mounting method. This relay model is fully sealed and is for PC board mounting. Connecting a relay to Arduino is super easy. You can connect it to any digital pin of the Arduino just the same way you would connect an LED. Because relay coils usually require more than 40 mm an Arduino pin can supply, that's why we can't connect them directly. We can use any low power transistor to do the job. In this example, we're gonna use a general purpose low cost NPN bipolar junction transistor. Its rated continuous collector current is 100 mA, which is more than the required 79 mA by the coil of the relay we are using. Diode D2 is a freewheeling diode, is used to suppress the back EMF generated by the coil of the relay, which could damage the transistor. A diode connected across the relay coil in reverse bias can do the job. The LED one will switch on when the relay is energized. Controlling a relay from Arduino is basically the same as switching on and off an LED. This is a simple code we're gonna test our relay with. The relay is connected to D7. To turn it on, just send a high to that pin and to turn it off, just send a low. In this example, we're gonna turn it on for 5 seconds and off for 3 seconds. Let us run the simulation. On for 5 seconds and off for 3 seconds. Here is our relay shield. Let's plug it into the Arduino Uno. Just align the header pins. Then press. Let's just connect this light bulb to the relay. I'm gonna break one AC line, the live line. I'm gonna connect it to normally open and calm. Make sure the cable is connected properly before you plug it to the main socket. I'm gonna plug it to the main socket. Let's connect the power to the Arduino USB port. Now plug it to the PC. Just upload the code. Upload. There you go. The light is on for 5 seconds. It's going to be off for 3 seconds. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to receive more tutorials in the future. If you have any comment, you are welcome. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you.